Hello guys, it's me Drunk Flea, the most active music reviewer on YouTube, coming at you with a new review of the new Black Dally Murder album, Verminous. Now, to, under, to have a little bit of context around how I got into this band, because it's a confusing band in a way, um, I got into them last year and I never knew they were melodic death metal until I listened to them. Prior to that, I heard people saying they were deathcore, metalcore, this or that. They're not. Okay, they're, they kind of started with two EPs, um, or one demo, one EP, I don't remember. But uh, they had, they made like melodic death metal with some metalcore leanings, but on their debut, and then on the albums to come, they would like quickly shut off that influence to the point where it's not there anymore, but you still have the fans who stick around from like the first era and the newcomers, so f in one way you have like death metal fans and like scene kids on the other side, and they're like both into the band, and it, it just generates a lot of confusion and misinformation, it's it's insane. Either way, um, to understand a little bit of the context here in Verminous, we have to understand what the band was doing at their previous album, Nightbringers. And it was the first album with new guitar, I think it was the first release or album with new guitar player uh, Brandon Ellis. And his guitar work influenced quite a lot the, uh, the release, you know. Um, you would hear more moments of straight of melody, and he has some like very distinct sound to his melody. It's not like very cliche, it's a little bit complex here and there, you know. Uh, but you can overall tell what, he, what his influence on the album was. But uh, Nightbringers was still very, like, you know, very fast, pretty technical, um, just like the style, you know, the Black Dahlia Murder 4, really. But on this new album, uh, while there's still, you know, the influences in songwriting and guitar playing from Brandon, uh, at the same time, this album sees a little bit of change in sound, you know, it's not as fast and, like, non-stop energy as, like, Nocturnal. Uh, these, this album also provides more moments of like you you know straight up death metal and and it's not like 100 percent fast all the time and super technical all the time so there's that difference and you know the more like a standard death metal moments here kind of really um uh, re they combine really well with the lyrical work from trevor um especially in the track verminous you know the first track on the album uh, Trevor seems to describe or ma make like a comparison, right, between the death metal underground fans and the vermin, you know, and basically if you uh, listen to the song along with the lyrics and everything, you kind of realize, he says, yeah, the underground death metal fans are the verminous, so in a way, uh, this album pays like homage to all those people, you know, all the death metal fans. So I think the change in sound to more straightforward death metal moments makes a lot of sense with the lyrical work here. One issue that I have with this album, which is a ma minor issue, mind you, but uh, is the fact that the first half of the album feels, um, I, I wouldn't say stronger, but feels like more memorable than the second half. I think the second half has really cool songs, right? But I think um, the first one uh, works better at provide, providing you with like distinct moments and the overall like highlights. I still think, um, even if I think the first half is of my preference, I think uh, they pick up uh, rather nicely with the last song, uh, Dawn of Rats. I think that's like, you know, they kind of pick up with a, with a memorable, not memorable thing. Uh, but overall, really, this is a very solid album. Even if like I prefer the first half, it's great to listen to through through and through. And I, yeah, just really solid. There's really no bad stuff here. So that's that's where my conclusion really lies with this album. Um, you know, it's uh, Black Dahlia Murder. It's you know like still staying true to what they've always done, but. Providing a little bit of a change, you know, a little bit of a twist so it doesn't become as stale. And I think it's really rewarding to see that, especially in a track such as like Soundless Empire, which, um, you know, it just takes that new idea of not being so overly fast or so overly technical, you know, uh, Brandon Ellis's new like influence on guitar and also the 
more straight up death metal moments. And I think that song really packs up the idea of that together quite nicely and is one of the highlights on the album. So yeah, overall, um, not a, a jaw-dropping experience. I wouldn't say this is like up to par with my favorite albums from the band such as Nocturnal or like uh, Unhallowed. But at the same time, I do feel this is a very solid album and these guys are not disappointing at all, you know? I had high expectations for this and the guys delivered and it's an amazing album and they really have nothing but amazing releases to their discography. Some that I might like more or less, but overall everything's like a great quality. So yeah, that's where I stand here. Probably not the very best release under their name, but a very solid one and one that you would enjoy anyway. And it's a grower, really. At the first um, listen, I was not very convinced. I started hitting it again and you know, it's it starts creeping on you, all the all the melodies, you know, all the riffing, and yeah, it stays there for a while, so good on them. Very happy with this. Uh, I would go if I had to give it a score. I don't like giving album numbers or scores, but if I had to give it a one, I would say something like an 8 out of 10. And yeah, The Black Dolly Murder. Hell yeah.